We're inside one of the missions, San Juan Capistrano. Look at that, 1776. Ortega Highway is just right there. See these bells? These bells are on the, the missionary's trail across uh, Orange County. These go all the way up through Fullerton, through La Harbra, and continue on down into Whittier. There's some of those right next in front of the junior high I went to. So this is the birthplace of uh, Orange County. One of the first settlements in actually in Southern California here. Okay. I vaguely remember coming here. Um, I think it's actually Adobe on a field trip. Fourth grade, I believe. Long time ago. It was the seventh in a chain of 21 missions established during the Spanish colonization of the West, which is now California. The mission was named after St. John of Castrano, an Italian saint. Construction of the mission began in 1797 and took more than nine years to complete. When the Great Stone Church was finished in 1806, it was the largest stone church west of the Mississippi River and the largest structure built by the Spanish during their 65 years in California. High in the tower of the Great Stone Church, the sound of the bells regulated the daily activities of mission life. The bells called the community together for meals, religious services, work, funerals, and announced special visitors. During the morning mass on December 8, 1812, an earthquake crumbled the church walls. The domes and the bell tower collapsed, killing 40 worshippers. The stone church was never rebuilt. Its majestic ruins stood alone against a background of rolling hills and barren land for almost a century. Native American artwork called frescoes can still be seen along the inside of the remaining dome. The half circles in the walls called niches held statues of saints. Completed in 1782, Serra Chapel is the only remaining mission church in California where Father Serra celebrated Mass. In 1845, Juan Forster and his partner John McKinley purchased the mission for $710 at a public auction from Forster's brother-in-law, Pio Pico, who was the last Mexican governor of Alta, California. Forster lived on the mission grounds with his family. After the war between Mexico and the United States, ownership of the mission was returned to the church by President Abraham Lincoln only three weeks before his death. During the later 1800s, when gold seekers rushed to California in search of wealth, the mission grounds decayed. Our family has been blessed to own a place called Rancho Mission in VA. If you really think about it and you really study the history of California, the lands which make up Rancho Mission Vale were originally the mission lands. And so in 1882, my great grandfather bought what was then called Rancho Santa Margarita y Las Flores, which in many ways were the lands of the San Luis Rey Mission and the lands of the mission here in San Juan Capistrano. So we've been tied to the mission my entire life for, for almost over 130 years. Some of my earliest recollections and memories are visiting the mission with my grandmother, uh, who first came to Ranch Mission Gale, the lands of Ranch Mission Gale in 1900. And so as a young person, a young boy, I would come to visit her friends in San Juan Capistrano and we would always visit the mission. So the mission has been a big part of selfishly of my life and our family's world. Uh, for it. In the early 1920s, Father John O'Sullivan, with the help of the Landmarks Club, restored the Serra Chapel and added a beautiful golden altar made in Barcelona, Spain during the 17th century. The chapel roof was raised in order to accommodate the new altar. 
The 18th century paintings that adorn the walls are also from Spain, along with the painting of St. John of Capistrano, the Italian saint for whom the mission is named. The side chapel is dedicated to St. Peregrini, the patron saint of cancer sufferers. At the entryway is an original baptismal font, which was once used in the Great Stone Church. More than 2,000 Native Americans were baptized in this font. This was a soldier's barracks and held up to 11 soldiers at a time. And there was never really a use for the soldiers except once on December 14, 1818, I believe, a Argentine pirate who had already hit other places, hit this place. The pirate's name was Bouchard. And he sacked and pillaged all surrounding neighborhoods, all surrounding towns up to here. He had already hit Santa Barbara and then Monterey. And rumor has it that he sacked and pillaged and he hid his treasures in the ground somewhere here and locally. People have looked at it, looked for it over the decades and decades and hundred years and nothing's ever been found though. Now, the swallows used to return to Capistrano every year, but um, the entire surrounding area used to be all farmlands, and with the farmlands being ate up and more city moving in and in, freeways and trains and all the disturbances and reconstruction of this area over here, the swallows stopped coming and started going underneath freeways instead. So the swallows are still in the area, not as big numbers, but they're still here. They're trying to get them to come back here. When you guys see deer prints, there'll be another one right next to this. That way you know they're going forward, you know which way they're going. Hey, you need the deer leg and the hood. I think that's heat and flats. Ashley? Yeah. I'm just kidding. Next door. Look. Sandal? Beginning of a basket. Finished baskets. A duck decoy. This is an obsidian. Oh. 
took it. They exchanged abalone and tried fish salt with island and tried smoked in items such as obsidian to make an arrowhead. Nice. Black sage. We have these two all over the San Gabriel's. And these two. Look at this, an actual place where they used to crush grapes to make wine. Look, like I love Lucy. Let's go down in here and make wine. So that tribe there, it was their labor. They were the tribe from this, these lands right here. It was their labor with the Spanish instruction that actually built this mission. You watch, you're familiar with the Ponderosa? <laughs> it's just some brand. And this is a demonstration of a brand. These are some of the collapsed remains from the 1790. And this was built over in 1980 to protect it. These are some of the actual remains from the collapsed building from that earthquake. Some grapes still growing down there. Look at that, this original adobe brick wall built by that native tribe. Wow. Seventeen ninety. And it's still there. This is an outdoor kitchen they built. They build fires and little kettles and things. They had what running water running down. I guess it used to have little adobe covers like that. These were actually some of the places they had little gardens. Still used in today. Oh, I know what that was. That's, uh, I got some of those I just planted. Artichokes. I never knew what artichokes looked like until I planted some. These were all fed by a stream that trickled down. Of course, now it's all dried up. But all the plumbing was all fed from a stream. They got little canals dug everywhere. And these were the actual metal working furnaces to make this wrought iron stuff like that. All the metal was melted here. These two pits right here were used for for tanning vats and uh, dyeing fabrics for clothing. Here's 
some of the little channels they have for bringing water down. They could block them anywhere and just bring it all the way wherever they wanted to. Look at this. Looks like a tree. It's actually a cactus. Huge. Oh, look. Let's see. Nesting bird. If you live in Long Beach, there's an old Greek church just as the 22 lets off on the 7th Street. So you're going down before you hit Examino, one of the neighborhoods on the left hand side. They hold a Greek festival there. And very few people are left let up to the front. Certain times of the year, I was lucky enough to be one of them. You get up to the front and you look up and you see that arch with the paintings up there. It's amazing. It's similar to this. This is the Padre's kitchen. Look at this. All this smoke is from back then. Grinding stones. Fishing with the nets, dipping nets. Fishing hook made out of a abalone. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try making a fishing hook out of abalone. If I can catch them in the series, if I can catch a trout. You've heard that uh, expression, the daily grind?
Look at those cactus left alone. Look how big they'll get. Look at all those fruits at the top. Sage. Oh yeah, look at those. I think that one is a big fish. Pet one, Jeannie. That one looks like you. One they come. Look at that big yellow. Look at this one right here. No, that one look right there. Yeah, really got beat up. Oh. No. Down. There's a black one. I touched it. I touched it. Leave him alone. Look at this. I think we're gonna feed him. I mean here. You're gonna pack it in. You're gonna use these to help the pack. Make sure it's ready. Smooth. This looks like the Forbidden City in uh, the original Planet of the Apes. <laughs> oh, this is um, where the uh, original statue stood. This is the part that collapsed during the earthquake. So a bunch of people right here, I think it said 40, I believe, were, were killed with the collapse of this roof. Forty worshippers. It tells you who died in the past fourteen. I wonder if he's actually buried here. An Adobe Cross. In this holy place, the bodies of those who built the mission may their souls rest in peace. 1924. John O'Sullivan, born March 19th. 1874, ordained to the priesthood, 1904, died, 1933, pastor of the old mission. This is the cemetery that you saw on the thing they took away the markers. You can hear the bells. Three fifteen. So it's a pretty interesting place. I think it was eight or nine bucks. How much was it to get in here? Eight or nine bucks each. It was eighteen for both. Yeah, so it's nine bucks each. Kids are cheaper. Kids are six, I think. It's part of the El Camino Trail. And uh, she picked up. What's this? Make crystals. You get a break and you get the crystals. And I have Native Californian Guide to the Tribes. And the I picked this up my mom. Wes Duty's in here. He's the guy from uh, Dance with Wolves. From many things. Talks about the San Gabriel's in here. Main reason I picked it up. 
I forgot all about this part of it. I've also been back here. That's the Amtrak train. There's a tra train station right here. Drop shop right here. You can take this from Fullerton if you live in Orange County. Fullerton train station. You can come down here and get off. There's a little... On the other side, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago, there used to be a petting zoo. I don't know if it still exists. It's pretty cool, though. You can take the train down here. Or the Metrolink. There's all kinds of little diners and shops. And the petting zoo does still exist. Tasty carrots. <laughs> Don't touch me, just feed me. <laughs> oh, I have one. Wait, that's it. I want to get that one some. Let me have them. Hey, buddy. Did it bite you? His beak got me, but there's no teeth. Look, you can see his ears. Or lack of ear cavity. Hey, buddy, look at that. It's like a dinosaur. Look at him. He's like a dinosaur. So neat. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Biting them. Whoa, look at that one's eyes. Looks like a Tauntaun from Star Wars. Look at that. Looks like the uh, snow blinders that uh, Han Solo and uh, Luke Skywalker wore on Hoth. 